If you have one of these under the bed, in the closet, somewhere in the garage, pull it out because I've got 10 fantastic exercises to give you a great workout using this. Hi there, Coach Tanya. So glad you joined me today. I have got a fantastic workout for you if you have one of these. Now, be honest, how many of you have one, bought it, maybe used it for a little bit and then it got tucked under the bed, up in the garage, in the attic somewhere. Well, now it's time to pull it out because I've got some great exercise for it. Great exercises for you to get a great workout. Um, before I show you that though, I want you to check out that pink comment below. If you like diversity and having fun with your workouts, this is our Firm and Tight Mini Band Program. It is a fantastic product. I wrote the uh, programs myself. You get the DVD, you get a digital download, and you get the free mini bands with it. So another great alternative, doesn't take up a lot of space, that'll it'll give you a great, great workout. Okay, back to the BOSU ball. So, what can you do with this? You can actually do a lot with the BOSU ball. And one of the reasons I really love it is because of its versatility. And it also helps with balance and proprioception. So it's like really got a lot of value added in one really simple piece of equipment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate a couple exercises that are really great, especially if you're a beginner or if you haven't been on this in a while. So I'm gonna show you some modifications and some progressions, but all of these are great if you're beginning. Um, with the exercises I'm gonna show you, if you're really comfortable doing them, you can do all 10 in one workout, that's fine. Or you might wanna split it up, do five and five, so you got two different workouts. Or you may already have some existing workouts that you love and you just wanna bring the BOSU ball in for a couple exercises. Pick from the ones I'm showing you to include them in your existing workouts just to really boost the, the workout you're already doing. Okay, so the first one, very simple, is just toe tap. So a toe tap is just simply tapping. Now if you're a beginner, if you're, you know, you've been in an accident, you have limited range of motion, this is a great way just to start, start moving, okay? Get moving. Now, depending on your level of cardio, you can increase, you can increase this by just quicken your pace, tap. And you're trying to aim for that middle top part of the ball. We're not, we're not kicking it, okay? We're actually tapping, okay? So toe taps, a very basic, basic beginner movement. Now from there, what we actually wanna do is get comfortable being on the ball. So take a step up and just find, find your center of gravity, okay? You may have to shift to move your feet around a little bit. All right, that's okay. And try holding a steady stance. Try for 10 seconds, 25, helicopters. There's always something going on here. <laughs> we probably won't be able to edit that out, so we're, I'm just gonna keep going. All right, so now once you're comfortable on the, the BOSU ball this way with the flat surface against the floor, try weight shifting. So just try actually without, you know, adding a lot of upper body movement, just try shifting your weight from one foot to the next, from forward to back, while keeping your balance on the ball. This is great for activating core as well. And if you're finding that balance is a bit of a challenge. I always find it helps to find an object either on the floor or eye level across from me to focus on. Okay, so something like that. All right, so you've gotten comfortable being on the ball this way. Let's flip it over. <clears throat> so again, we just wanna get used to being on the ball on the opposite side, so step up, okay. Find your, clearly I've not been on it in a while myself. God, when's the last time we did a video with the BOSU ball? <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, so you just wanna get used to being on it, okay? Get used to that. Now, the same thing that we did with it flipped over, shifting the weight, okay? Rocking front to back. If you get really brave and comfortable, try circles in both directions. You might find that one way is easier than the other. Or if you're like me, it's more of a square, triangle kind of thing. But you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay, we're just getting used to having our weight on the ball and manipulating it. Again, great core activation here. Okay, getting off is just as equal, you know, we wanna be just as conscious and aware getting off as getting on. Tip to one side, step off, okay? Just like that. So let's flip this sucker over again and just some basic forward lunges. So, 
stepping away from the ball, we're gonna come forward and lunge down. Bring that knee down, pushing off, okay? And there's the helicopter again. Now when I'm doing lunges, I really like to load one leg, so doing all my reps on one leg. You're gonna be aiming for 10 to 12 reps per exercise. You should be always doing at least three, if not a fourth round, okay? So I like to load one leg, get it really tired before loading the other. If you find that's too exhausting, or that you're starting to tire after like five reps, do alternating legs, okay? So instead of 10 on one leg, 10 on the other, Try to get, I don't know, 15, 20, alternating. Okay, so whatever you're comfortable with doing. Again, even though you're moving from a stationary floor position onto the ball, this can challenge your balance if you find that a bit difficult. Again, find something either on the floor in front of you or at eye level to focus on. That's really going to help, okay? For the next exercise, we are gonna get back onto the ball because now we're masters at it. Be careful before I say that. And just simple body weight squats. So whether you want your hands on your hips, out in front or out to the side to help with your balance, just squat down and come up. It's not a speed exercise, it's control down and coming up. Down and up. Again, 10 to 12 reps, three rounds. And there's your squats. <clears throat> okay, donkey kicks. I love donkey kicks. Donkey kicks are one of those exercises that you can darn near do with just about any piece of equipment, including the BOSU ball. So you want to keep it dome side up. We're going to put our knees on the BOSU ball, palms on the floor, and just kick up. When you finish your reps on one leg, you want to do the other leg. And there's your donkey kicks. Again, really great core activation in that as well. Uh, planks. No surprise to any of you who have used a BOSU ball that this is a fantastic way, we'll say up your game, up your plank game because there's so many ways to take a plank and just <sighs> really exhaust yourself, okay? Just really increase the amount of core activation that you're getting. Looks like we're gonna get some rain. <laughs> okay, so just a basic stability plank. Flip this thing over. Get your hand placement, a nice straight back, strong core, and just holding your plank. If it's been a long time since you planked or your core is weak or you have lower back issues, start at 10 seconds, okay? If you can hit a 30 second mark on your first round, great. Just always work up. Um, commonly people will ask me, well, how many seconds should I increase each time? I say aim for 10. And if you get seven, great, great. You, you know, aim high. You're probably, if you just said, well, I'll go for five, you might have only got three, but because you set the bar at 10, you got a few more seconds out of it. So you wanna just start with a basic plank, okay? When you get really proficient at that, we're gonna add some movement in. So a rocking plank. And note, it isn't this. We're not rocking the whole body. We're keeping that core straight and steady and rocking. There's that rain. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. We never, we're gonna get all kinds of stuff here in Florida, so it might start to pour, it might not. From the plank, because we're already in that position, we're gonna go right into mountain climbers. So, bringing that one knee up, then the other. Did I show them the rain? Yes, show them the rain. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> okay, I'm going for it because this is this is work life, okay? So we're just doing mountain climbers. Now, we're gonna increase the intensity of the exercise just by increasing the speed. So we're gonna bring a little more cardio into that. So here we go. Okay, well we got a bit of a break in the downpour. Flip the BOSU ball back over and we're gonna get into some glute bridges. We're gonna do two different types of glute bridges. Um, let me just show you, cause it's gonna start raining again. <sighs> Feet on the BOSU ball, all right? Nice flat back on the floor. Come up, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Lower down and up again and squeeze. And squeeze, okay? Again, 10 to 12 of those. Three rounds. Now, you might have to move the ball a little bit further away if you're long-legged like me. We're gonna do these single leg, okay? So this foot, you don't, it doesn't stay on the floor. It comes off the floor, it doesn't have to be up. This can be more comfortable. I like, I like holding my leg up, it just feels better. And lift, and still squeeze that glute, and down, and up, and up. And whatever we do on the one leg, you gotta do the same on the other. Okay. 10 easy, awesome BOSU ball exercises. Thank you so much for watching this video and checking out these exercises. I hope you will do this and include it into your workouts. Don't forget before you go, check that pink comment below for the Firm and Tight Mini Band program. Fantastic program, great for toning, tightening, fat loss, all right? Be sure you give the video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. And don't forget to click the subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our great video content. I'm Coach Tanya, thanks for watching. See you soon. We'll be right back.